putting it out there. <laughs> just so you know. Rich, we're going to help you get a date Carrie. if you want yeah. one. Yeah. And ready to mingle. Carrie. Yeah. You got a single sister in San Diego? I do. <laughs> yeah, I do. There's a reason she hasn't told you yet, I guess, huh, Rich? <laughs> got, okay. Uh, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> oh, well. Anyway, uh, uh, you know what? Uh, 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 Naomi, do you think it's easy to find love? in Utah? No, I don't, especially nowadays. I feel like it's so, it's changed so much. Like people don't date anymore, you know? They don't, they, they it's, it's all online or it's, um, or they don't have, like we were talking about this just the other day, they don't have dances anymore. You know, they used to always have dances. You could always find a dance to go to and they don't have that anymore. We don't have the Ivy Tower that they used to have when I was a kid or stuff like that. So. It would make a great date night. <laughs> A little ice cream at Sub Zero, that's what I would say. I and a dinner and a show, really, because tell us what is happening here. This is great. So, we also do STEM education. So, we, uh, so we have to go out to schools and do science presentations. We talk about ideal gas law, heat transfer, the things that are in states of matter. So we'll this also is do a, a lot balloon of, yeah. that we've blown up, and this is just, I'm just going to show you that it can, it'll collapse. And this step represents the ideal gas law. So bringing down the temperature also brings down the pressure and the volume. So that's a very simple ideal gas law is PV equals T. Now and I'm we'll talk about that with the, with, with the presentations with the kids. I'm going to take some nitrogen. I'm going to put it inside this balloon or bottle. And inside the bottle, it's evaporating, but you don't see it evaporating. You don't really can't see how much. So we're going to put this balloon on here. We're going to see how much uh, the rate of evaporation increases with different mediums. So we see that now it is evaporating and it's coming from the air. You see it's starting to expand up So now if there. I put it in water, water has 600 times more energy than the air. Oh, that, wow, okay, yeah. By the so way, Jerry, what is your background? My degree's in chemistry. Okay, and is that why, it, you know, when you found... Oh, well, okay. sorry about when that. When you founded Sub-Zero, that's why you're like, hey, I got a great idea. Yeah, she actually left an article out about liquid nitrogen and and then uh, what well, was liquid nitrogen ice cream actually, but then we uh, we found we that the found process didn't work the, that they described and we had to figure out like how to make it work. Yeah, well, yeah. you certainly so there were a did lot that. Of different ways that we had to try out different bowl sizes, different ways of dispensing the nitrogen, different um, different ingredients for the cream, all the different ways of, of making it work. So, um, but so from the start, patented. we always wanted it to be yes, and then we did patent it. Um, for all this, from the start, we always wanted it to be a science theme. Our, our, our from the, the our ice cream parlor was always based on science, and so um, we actually have a full science presentation that fits with second and fifth grade curriculum. We actually will go out and do um, daycare centers as well but we also do in-store centers so if you go to our website subzeroicecream.com there's a place there that you can fill out a, a request form for information about our science presentations there you go delicious science that's why we say that and uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about how they got started because they blew the folks at shark tank away so stick around to find out that history of sub-zero this one in provo